Right then, track guide around Monza in the dry and then in the wet. Let's crack on with it. Right then, how are we doing, everyone? We are at Monza this week, and this is one of those circuits that I found very weird. Very enjoyable, Monza, in the dry, because it's brilliant fun. Slipstream here is going to be absolutely huge. But uh, yeah, in a nutshell, I think the rain, as we go to that screen, this place with the spray will be utterly, utterly insane. And we'll mention this when we go to the, the breakdown lap, because the white lines are a, an easy way to unalive yourself. So be cautious of if it's if it's a white line, leave it alone. They must have painted it with butter in it. It's really, really nuts. But yeah, these chicanes through here, you can go through them quite slowly. You have to take the racing line, really. At these speeds, it's just the most efficient line. But you just got to be careful on acceleration. You get a really nice drift coming out of there. And I get a free drift around this lap. But anyway, this is the weather that I use for these two sessions. I use fixed weather because I want the weather to stay the same in this session. Obviously, I don't want it to rain more or rain less as I do more and more laps because then it wouldn't be a fair representative sort of lap time. So yeah, one will be moderate, one will be dry. So then depending on the amount of rain that's actually on the circuit, you can deviate between the two guides as I go around them. So yeah, I think that's the best way of doing it. Otherwise, yeah, I think that's enough to be waffling. Let's crack on with the dry lap, first of all. Right then, Monza in the dry. And apologize for the audio at the start where I've recorded. I've got a new microphone and I've been playing around with it. Hopefully this is a little bit better. Anyway, the start finish rate at Monza is mahosive and everyone wants to crash into turn one. The slipstream around this thing will be absolutely insane. So make sure you do get a decent exit out of the last corner to try and minimize that. But the slipstream is strong in the Super Formula Light. So I don't think it's going to be much defending anyway. Defend on the next lap. We are hunting for our breaking point and we're all the way down here at the 100 meter marker and we're standing on the brakes in a straight line. I did find uh, first gear was okay for this one just to turn it in just get the rotation but you can get through there on second if you want loads of curb on that one don't cut the first one too much because there is a slowdown and i get a little bit too much curb of that red sausage curb on the second one so just be cautious about that about bouncing the car and understeering wide get on power as early as you can coming out of there and around this nice curve here try and keep it as far right hand side as you can without touching the curve because you try, don't want to minimize any more drag on the car than we already have by the way this is with a fixed setup by the way so the open one will be a little bit quicker than this so bear that in mind for your braking distances we're using the 100 meter marker for the second chicane Again, break in a nice heavy straight line all the way down into second gear, I believe, for this one. No, third, that'll do us. Uh, loads of Apex 1 and loads of Apex 1 on that one. Be careful about cutting that too much because there is a slowdown on both of them that can really hurt your lap time and you're fighting for race positions. Lesmos 1 and 2 now. We're breaking just at that man, just as we go past. We can break by quite deep again. Go down one gear on the gearbox and get a nice late Apex after that white little, uh, sorry, the orange barrier just there. And then you should be able to go full throttle without running wide too far as well because there's an off track out there, the joys of off tracks. Coming to the 50 meter marker now, we're standing on the brakes just before it, and you want to take loads of apex curve for this one. You can, there's a little dip there at camber, and if you can get that tire just like that, you'll rotate the car nicely. Again, don't run too far wide because it's a horrible off track out there, and obviously down a main straight, one of the longest straights on the circuit, it's going to hurt your lap time. So through here, I kind of stay middle in this bridge because if you go far right inside, the car really bottoms out, and hearing kajunk every um, lap can get a bit, bit tedious. So bear that in mind. 100 meter market again just after it we're breaking in a straight line again go for down to third gear for this one i think it was no fourth gear that's two gears i've got wrong now surprised i get around here in fourth miss the sausage curves all the way in here take as much curb as you dare but miss the sausage curves because they will send you into narnia and definitely unalive you in the barrier take a little bit of exit curve as well but again if you go too far wide there is an off track down the back straight now as i like to call it because it's the one before the last corner we are coming into curva whatever it is parabolica this is a very, very nice corner, and there will be some dive bombs, so be cautious about that one. So we're using the AstroTurf here on the left-hand side. Break in a nice straight line all the way down into fourth gear. Now, you want a relatively late apex compared to where this curb ends, so now you want to get on this curb. There the curb ends, and there you should be on full throttle to get out of the corner as best you can. Let the car drift naturally out to the left-hand side, and this is where you want to really maximize your exit. here. Slipstream will start now, so this you, you're not on the straight yet, and yet people are going to be gaining on slipstream. Fortunately, the, tr the line does come up very, very quickly, so if you are on the last lap, try and defend the best you can and it should be golden but there is the line and that was quite fun now the rain as mentioned in the intro be very very cautious with anything that is a white line because it's made with butter i swear it's so so slippery it is unreal so bear that in mind when you come to this pit exit line look at that straddle it do not break on it do not accelerate do not even look at it funny get away from it 50 meter marker 150 meter marker sorry you can probably break a little bit closer but nice and gently on the brakes make sure you don't lock a tire and also straddling that white line also leaves in you bit that isn't a river so that's always advised take a little bit of curve through here and you're going so slow that you just need to be careful look at the throttle inputs very very gentle little bit gently on the curve i do get a little bit of rotation there just be managing 
moving it through there. It's a slow enough corner that you don't need to worry about it, but still be cautious through there. It, 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 you can have some slow spins, and it takes three years to do it, so bear that in mind. Avoid this reservoir around the complete curb around uh, this curve of Grande. It's there. Leave it alone. You'll be fine. Leave it on the left-hand side of the circuit. Now you want to break just before this bridge goes over the circuit that isn't there anymore. Break in a straight line again. Try and get to the outside of the uh, of the right-hand side of the circuit here just to open your cover and I get a big snap here. Too much curblet landing on the puddle and get a little bit of a wiggle, so be cautious about that one. Go right through the reservoir again on that uh, apex because you're going slow enough. It should be okay. And avoid the curb on exit and you should be absolutely golden. Coming up to Lesmo 1 and 2 now. You want to be off the racing line for this one and you want to break relatively late to make you go deep into the corner so just about this point before that man that we use on the dry session let the car go out all the way to the corner and watch as i turn in here i just have a little bit of a wiggle i need to be further out wide than that to be honest i don't know why the car oversteers like that um I, there's not a puddle there that i can see there was one there that i touched the white line but still be cautious around there it, a lot of spinners a lot of uh, unaliving into the barrier way before the 50 minute mark again do it the same thing again break kind of late but then disappear out to the corner and then watch for the counter steer just there and try and avoid the curb on exit weirdly this is better for off tracks the wet line but it's worse for survivability so yeah this is by far the worst track i've had driving in the rain it is going to be terrifying i'm scared middle of the circuit again to avoid that horrible noise as you go over it you'll thank my ear you'll th your ears will thank me later and then that little orange barrier there that's disappearing or the advertisement sign that goes over the top of us that'll be absolutely fine about 50 percent break in there nice and easy and try and don't hit that puddle there if you can but you kind of need to because i want to go around this massive reservoir here so that's why I want to take the first puddle and then miss that reservoir. Cut across it here, and then you want to miss this other little ocean there that's on the apex curb. And again, you want to avoid the exit curb because even there, I'm getting a snap of oversteer, which is absolutely insane. This is what the amount of snap oversteers that I had in the practice session and the amount of spins that I had is absolutely insane. So please, please, please be careful where you're racing out there. Now the back straight, as I like to call it, last corner. This is all we need to worry about. Again, you can break kind of deep. You want to do at the start of the AstroTurf, but I'm way off the race line. I don't want to get anywhere near it. And then diagonal to open up the corner as best I can. All the way around the outside. Again, I don't want to go anywhere near that curb or that reservoir that's sitting on there as well. You can see it glistening away, waiting to unalive us. Just leave, give it a wide berth. A little bit of snap of oversteer there again and a little bit there. Look at this. It's You're trying to put on the power so smoothly, and yet it still goes. You, you're really going to need to keep your wits about you. And then put another 20 five people on here as well it's going to be utterly utterly insane but that is us coming across the line and we survived just right then both of them done and dusted and as always just be careful around the wet this was one of the most trickiest wet tracks i've driven on uh, since doing these guys for this season with both the weather of wet and dry so yeah it is very sketchy there are going to be tons and tons of people spinning out because there's so many places you can actually make a mistake so if you can finish a race doesn't matter what lap times you're doing if you're five seconds slower than the quick guys it doesn't matter as long as you can finish that's gonna be my prime prime thing with these if this did help you out don't forget to like and subscribe and i love your youtube stuff otherwise i will catch you on the track